In Star Trek, warp drives bend the very fabric of space itself, allowing starships to cross galaxies faster than light. But in Star Wars, ships make the jump to light speed by slipping into an alternate dimension called hyperspace. It's the ultimate sci-fi showdown, the physics of Starfleet versus the force of the Falcon. So which of these iconic technologies could actually work in our universe? The answer lies in the fascinating and often bizarre world of theoretical physics. Let's start with the warp drive. The concept isn't just science fiction, it has a real-world counterpart in the Alcubierre drive, proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994. The idea is to create a warp bubble of space-time around a ship. This bubble would contract space in front of the vessel and expand it behind. The ship itself wouldn't move through space at all, it would ride this wave of space-time, effectively surfing the cosmos. Because the ship is stationary within its local bubble, it wouldn't violate Einstein's universal speed limit. But there's a monumental catch. To create this effect, you'd need something called negative energy density, a form of exotic matter with properties we've never observed. While tiny amounts have been theorized to exist in quantum phenomena, like the Casimir effect, creating and containing enough to power a starship is a challenge of astronomical proportions. Now, what about hyperspace? This is best understood as an analogy for a wormhole, or an Einstein-Rosen bridge. Instead of traveling the long way across space-time, a wormhole acts as a shortcut, a tunnel connecting two incredibly distant points. Amazingly, wormholes are mathematically permitted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. But just like warp drives, they come with their own set of impossible problems. Natural wormholes would be catastrophically unstable, collapsing the instant anything tried to pass through them. To keep one open, you'd again need vast quantities of that same elusive exotic matter with negative energy. There are also other terrifying issues, like intense radiation and tidal forces that would tear a ship apart. So, where does that leave us? Both ideas flirt with the edges of real physics, but both are locked behind the door of exotic matter, a substance we haven't proven exists in any usable form. For now, humanity's roadmap to the stars is more practical, relying on technologies like advanced ion drives, solar sails, and perhaps one day, fusion rockets. Yet, the dream of the warp drive persists. It aligns more closely with our understanding of general relativity and has fewer theoretical paradoxes than wormholes. It may not be just science fiction, it could be our first real, albeit distant roadmap to becoming a truly interstellar species.